We're reading Search for a Nonviolent Future. We're up to uh, an anecdote that was related to me by a friend who was in sub-Saharan Africa. This was quite a while ago and had the uh, opportunity to talk to a large group of village women. And uh, he said to them, uh, how many of you here have ever practiced or experienced nonviolence? And he got the same reaction there that we would have with an audience here, which is nobody knew what he was talking about. So he was searching around for a way to express it that they would be able to relate to. And what he came up with was, uh, how many of you have ever used a moral, f a moral force against a physical threat? And immediately a bunch of people put their hands up. And uh, he called on one woman to tell her story. And she said, uh, I, I was victimized by my husband. He was quite uh, unkind, used to beat me quite a bit. And one day he was doing it, and, and I don't know, something inside me snapped, and I just got up and I looked him right in the eye. And I said, why don't you just kill me and get it over with? And to my surprise, he stopped and has never hit me since. So I think this story illustrates several things about nonviolence. One, nobody knows the name. Two, everybody is experiencing nonviolence, but because they don't have a name for it, it doesn't stick. And you can't learn from it and build on your own experiences. And three, she spontaneously practiced what we would call today the power of vulnerability. That is quite often one of the ways that you reverse a, not, a violent dynamic is instead of trying to fend it off, you in a way go with it and say, go ahead, do your worst. And that often, if you do it right, in the right circumstances, it changes the dynamic so that uh, you rescue the person from being violent and you rescue yourselves from be yourself from being victimized. So on that other point of re rescuing a person from being violent, uh, I did mention in this chapter uh, something called perpetration-induced traumatic stress. And let's talk about that a little more next time. And in the meantime, come on and join the experiment. Thank you very much.